Hi guys, today we're going to look at uh, digital mirror with wireless rear camera set from FXT technology. Uh, what's cool about this product is uh, the fact that you don't need to run a wire to the uh, rear camera and this can be very useful if you have a big vehicle or if you tow a trailer you can install it on the trailer. Today we'll show you how it works. The set comes with 10 inch digital mirror, it has touch screen and uh, we have the full HD camera front camera it uses hooks to get installed on your existing uh, OEM uh, rear view mirror and uh, there is a power button on the back or oh, sorry on the bottom which you can use to turn on and off the digital screen and these are the ports that we have we have the USB port this is a port uh, for the wireless adapter which will be connected to the rear camera uh, this is a slot for the SD card and uh, it says GPS here, but I don't think this one actually has a GPS Right here we have the wireless receiver for the rear camera uh, It gets connected to the cigarette lighter socket and this wire goes to the digital mirror It gets split in the end in two this one will provide the power to the digital mirror and this one will provide uh, the signal from the rear camera. Right here I have a small antenna that comes in the set and it will get connected right here. Uh, besides that in the set we have uh, two rubber straps. This, these will be used to secure the front, uh, well the digital mirror itself. Uh, also we have uh, some electrical connectors and zip ties right here which can be used to connect uh, the wires for the rear camera to our 12 volts and the ground and uh, right here we have the actual rear camera itself this is how it looks it's full HD and uh, these are the wires another thing that I want to add is that uh, if you digital, if you already have a digital uh, mirror and it has this type of connectors, the USB one and uh, this one for the rear camera, you can actually get this uh, wireless receiver uh, by itself. It's going to be cheaper. So my point is, it works with any other uh, digital mirror with these types of connectors. Right now I'm going to install the digital mirror uh, and actually this um, front camera can be extended this way. Simply use the rubber straps to secure it in place. And, and that's pretty much it. We connected both wires on the top of the mirror and we connected the uh, wireless receiver right here. Right now I'm going to start the vehicle and let's see if it works. The receiver is working and our mirror is working as well. Uh, right now we only have the front camera image, we have not connected the rear one yet but we're just trying to see if it works it does, you can change the angle, you can change the brightness this way everything works, let's connect the rear camera I'm going to remove this plastic cover in the back of the vehicle I'm going to remove the license plate because we this gives us a little bit more room to run our wire and later the rear camera will get connected, installed right here. We pulled our rear camera wire through this opening right here and right now I will install the camera uh, on top of our license plate. I'll actually put the 
bracket behind the license plate like this. This way the screws or bolts in this case will secure it properly and now just simply reinstall the license plate. In this case we'll connect the wires to the uh, trailer wiring which is already installed in the vehicle. This is the ground and one of these is the marker light 12 volts. Uh, in your vehicle it's gonna be slightly different if you don't have this wiring. Uh, I can only show you what how it looks in this vehicle. So in this case the this red wire right here is can this is a marker uh, 12 volt and this is connected to this uh, tail light in Acura RSX which uh, turns on once you turn on the marker lights. You can do it the same way with the license plate. Light, uh, we have two wires going to this light as well. But as I said, it will depend on the vehicle. The red wire will go to the 12 volt connector, which is the first one in this case, and uh, the black one will go to the ground. Please keep in mind that the manual doesn't specify the polarity for these wires and uh, for your reference uh, in this case the black is the ground and the red one is the 12 volt wire. Uh, right now I'm going to turn on the marker lights. And as you can see we have the power in our rear camera and we can also see the uh, rear image in our digital mirror so when I lower my hand I can see tiny delay but I don't think it's significant enough to cause any issues the rear camera has an interesting feature in low light conditions and at night these LEDs will turn on this is meant to uh, light up the road behind the vehicle. Uh, you may think that this will blind the drivers behind you, but it actually won't. Every time there is a vehicle behind your vehicle, the LEDs will turn off. And they will automatically turn on if you don't have a vehicle uh, behind your car. Right now I'm in the van behind the Acura and uh, we'll show it one more time. We'll turn on the lights in the van and as you can see the LEDs are off. Let's turn off the lights in the van. They automatically turn on. So far we didn't find any option to turn this off, uh, turn this function permanently in the uh, rear camera. So if you don't want this flashing at all at night, solution is simple. Just apply some black tape like this. Our mirror will start working. First we'll see just the front camera, uh, right now you can see the red LED on our uh, wireless adapter. Uh, in order to turn on the rear camera we need to at least turn on the marker lights in the vehicle. The color will change to green, shortly we'll see the rear camera appearing on our screen. I'll do it again, I will turn it off first. Only the front camera right now is working. I turned on the marker lights and we have both cameras now. I'll show you guys how to switch between views by using this button or we can also tap on the screen and this will allow us to change uh, the views. 
you may notice that the uh, rear camera image has blue color to it this is actually done on purpose this will prevent uh, the strong light during the day affecting the video I'll go back to both views right now you can change the brightness of the camera uh, of the sorry of the mirror by pressing these buttons and right now I'll show you the settings so you can go to home button here we have three different categories record will take you back to the main screen files uh, we have files for our front camera and for our rear camera we can go back here uh, settings it's all pretty straightforward we have uh, LCD off screen protection we can change that after shutdown different options here uh, frequency change the sound is off right now you can change the language you can change date and time you can set up the license plate on the main screen you can format the SD card from here uh, you can set default settings streaming media it says open and the version of the operating system I'll go back uh, another thing that you can do here you can actually take the picture as well by pressing this button you can take a picture like that um, so that's pretty much it for the settings uh, right now we'll go for a short drive and we'll show you guys how it records the video this is how our rear camera looks like in motion I'll switch to both the front camera and the rear camera as I said, it's kind of bluish, the rear camera. I'll switch back to the rear one. There is a slight delay. I believe the delay is 0 0.2 seconds in this case because this is a wireless product. It is slightly noticeable, but in our opinion, it doesn't affect the safety of the product. You can see the vehicle behind us. As it's uh, obviously it has wide view, and you can see everything what's going on in all uh, lanes in both directions.
and this is how our digital mirror looks like at night right now I have both cameras front and rear I will turn on the rear one only To sum it up, uh, definitely this product has uh, interesting features. Obviously the uh, wireless rear camera is uh, hugely beneficial if you tow a trailer or if you have a, a big uh, vehicle like a large van for example. Uh, but of course you can still use it in any other vehicles as well. The rear camera in this case gets installed uh, near the license plate. Uh, in our experience, mounting the rear camera higher on the vehicle or inside the vehicle actually helps to reduce the glare, especially at night, and overall improves visibility. So if you have a chance to mount this uh, rear camera high on the vehicle, we definitely recommend this. If you guys like this product, I will leave the link in the description, check it out, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.